Hi, this is an instructional video on how to program the wireless and hardwired IR sensors. Now, I'm going to show you both the sensors, and you'll notice right off the bat that they both look exactly the same. However, there is a difference that you can actually tell the two apart, so, and I will show you. So, this is the hardwired IR sensor. You can tell it's the hardwired because right here in the back is a small white port. That port is what gives power and data to the sensor, and so that's how you can tell that you have a hardwired IR sensor. This is a, a wireless IR sensor. You can tell it's wireless because the location where that port would be on a hardwired sensor is non-existent there because this is battery operated. So I'm going to show you uh, the insides of the hardwired IR sensor so that you know the differences between the two further. And so first I'll show you how to open it. Simply just put one hand on the back casing and one on the front casing, just peel it open, and so I'm going to show you the insides and also how to adjust the beam, or the distance in which it will be able to pick up an individual. So right here is a side view of your hardwired IR sensor. Right here you'll notice these binocular-like pieces. This binocular is where the beam is projected outwards in order to pick up uh, movement. Uh, you can also, you can adjust the beam angle, hence like this, and you can also adjust the distance in which the beam can pick up a pick up movement, and you can do that by using the small white dial that is located on the side right here. Uh, now to adjust that dial, all you need to do is grab a screwdriver, small screwdriver like the ones we provide in our um, auto side kits or anything really that'll fit into the um, groove. You'll notice if I bring it in closer that there's a small rectangular indent here. You simply just need to place your screwdriver or small device in the indent and then turning it right decreases the intensity or the distance in which it will pick up movement and turning it left will increase how far it will pick up. The same also goes for the wireless IR sensor and the only real difference between them is the wireless IR sensor has a silver ring that goes around the circumference of the white dial. So now I'm going to go to the uh, wireless IR sensor, which again, the, the wireless IR sensors do not have that white port on the back. It's just an empty uh, hole in the case. So same way to open it as the hardwired, I'm going to show you the insides of the wireless IR sensor. The sensor. You'll notice right off the bat, you've got a big blue battery. Uh, when you open up a new pair, this battery won't be connected, just so it'll save power. So you'll just have to pull the battery out, which you can do that by adjusting the beam angle upwards and then just pulling it out. And then there's also a cable, which you'll plug the battery into. So I'm going to show you how to put it back in. So just one side in first, click it back in, and then adjust the beam angle to whichever or however you please. Now I'll show you how to adjust the distance. It's the exact same process and uh, turning as the hardwired and notice also the silver rim around the perimeter. So, um, and also the f one very important thing, the difference between each of the sensors is that the wireless IR sensor has a switch right here to my right of the binoculars or to your left in your case. Uh, this switch has several functions on it. It has M, S, and P. Now the meanings of those letters is M for master mode, which means that this sensor will um, open the door for no matter what mode it's in. Now, the P, or sorry, the S mode is for standard mode. So that's if you programmed your auto side for um, its standard opening. Now, let's say you want to use this pet, uh, sensor for pets, so um, if this sensor is triggered by movement, the door will open to the pet mode which you have programmed. If you have not pet programmed pet mode, you don't need to program pet mode unless you'd like to use your auto side for pets. Um, otherwise, if you're just using your sensor for standard use, you do not need to program pet mode. So, uh, and in order to switch between the modes, there's just a small black dial that you just need to switch on your own depending on what your use is. And so, now that I've showed you the insides of the sensors, I will show you how to program them, or pair them to your unit. And now for the portion of the video where I will show you how to program your hardwired IR sensors 
and pair it to your auto slide unit. Right here I've already um, in, uh, programmed an auto slide unit and if you have not programmed your auto slide unit and you're trying to pair your sensors, please program your auto slide unit first. So, um, in order to uh, pair your hardwired IR sensor, all you need to do is, using the port in the back of the sensor that I showed you earlier, just plug in the cables that we provide with each and every kit to the back. And then, using a piece of Velcro or however you please, maybe even screws, uh, you just need to attach it and pretty much get it out of your hands so you can pair your sensor. So I'm, I've, I'm using Velcro in this case, and I'm just going to stick it onto the side of the test rack here. And now, with the other end of the same cable that you just plugged into your hardwired IR sensor, you need to go over to the motherboard. Uh, our unit is upside down because that's just how we have our test rig. So um, your, this is upside down. Uh, yours will be right side up. But um, I'm going to show you the ports that you can plug them into. So right here, you see inside sensor, outside sensor, and pet sensor. Uh, inside and outside sensor are for, let's say you have a uh, hardwired IR sensor, and that's the one that's going to pick up movement from the inside. You're going to plug that one into inside sensor. And then let's say you have a, a hardwired IR sensor that you want to put outside, so it'll pick up outside movement to trigger the door. You'll just plug that into outside sensor. Um, and of course, each uh, hardwired IR sensor kit comes with two, uh, two hardwired IR sensors. And now I'm going to move to the PET sensor, because that's going to be the slightly different one. Now, if you want to use your hardwired IR sensors for PETs, uh, you'll need PET mode programmed. If you're just going to use your hardwired IR sensors for standard uh, mode, uh, you won't need to program PET mode at all. Um, so with PET mode, uh, there's only one port, and you'll notice you, you'll have two cables that need to go to a port. In order to get those two cables to trigger for the door and open your door to the programmed PET mode length, what you'll actually need is a Y splitter. So this is what our Y splitters look like. It's got one cable end that will plug into the port, PET sensor port, right, right here. And then you'll, what you'll do from there is you'll plug in the inside sensor and outside sensor to whichever port um, is available. So that uh, allows you to plug in both um, sensors to the PET port. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the hardwired IR sensor to our unit we have here on display. So I'm going to plug it into inside mode, and so, uh, if your sensor hasn't triggered already, uh, make sure your uh, sensor is on. You can, there's a small switch right here on the side of the hardwired IR sensor that you just need to flip on. You'll know it's on because there's a tiny blue LED light. As you can see, the door has triggered. Okay then, so that's how to program the hardwired IR sensors. And I'm going to show you how to program your wireless IR sensors. Uh, all you need to do so for now is just place your wireless IR sensor on the wall, whether you're going to use screws, or in my case, I'm going to use Velcro. And I'm going to do a shell, but um, don't do. So I'm going to show you how to program the sensor, and then I'm going to do it from a distance. Uh, so uh, start off with a wireless IR sensor in the off position. So. Right here, you can see the switch is facing the back. If I switch it to forward, it'll trigger. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it facing the back, uh, facing the wall. So it's off right now. So I'm gonna stick it back on the wall. And then I'm gonna bring your attention to the auto slide motherboard and where you, what you're going to click in order to program your uh, sensor. So you're going to click sensor learn. Then after turning on your sensor, you're going to wave your hand in front of the sensor so right here, you're gonna wave it, and you're also gonna see the blue light, depending on what angle you're programming it from. And then you're going to click sensor learn again, and then you're gonna wave your hand back over on the sensor, and your door should open from there. So I'm going to, so that's the show portion, now I'm going to do it, uh, so you'll see it from a distance. So I'm going to turn on the sensor. Okay, now I'm going to click sensor learn. That's one. I'm gonna click sensor learn again. That's two. Now I'm gonna wait a few seconds actually. 
And now, entrance. Also, I'm going to show you how to program your wireless uh, IR sensor to operate in pet mode, which is a very simple process. All you need to do is grab your sensor, uh, make sure it's off, open it up, and then we're going to go to that little control, or those little, the little switch that I told you about earlier, where there's M, S, and P. Uh, you're going to switch that to just P for pet mode. And if you program pet mode, uh, the auto side will open the unit to the programmed with for pet mode. So I'm going to stick it back on the wall right over here. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. And now I'm just going to go over the programming process one more time. So I'm going to click sensor learn. Then I'm going to wave my hand in front of the sensor. I'm going to click sensor learn again and then wave my hand over the sensor. So now uh, that it's been programmed, um, I'm going to switch the mode on the auto side. So I'll show you right here. Here are the various modes. We're going to switch it to pet mode so that it opens up on pet mode. And to do that, you're just going to click this asterisk until the pet paw print uh, lights up yellow. So moving the light to yellow paw print. There we go. And so there we go. The auto side is opening up to the program pet mode distance.